What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. And before we get started, I did drop a new episode of my podcast, Views from the Crib. Link will be in the description, and also it'll be in the card somewhere. Go check it out. It was a solo episode with just me. Talk about different things, have story time, stuff like that. And if you like me talking about different things other than like comic books and all that stuff, I say recommend it. Go check it out. It was, it was a good 30 minutes, like, listening and stuff like that. It's also on Spotify if you want to go check it out there. And thank you. Now, if you've been on Twitter for the past couple days and you follow comic book stuff on Twitter, you've been seeing these things all around where this almost revisionist history of Madam Well, they do this thing where a movie come out, it's trash, it's bad, it's garbage. And then, or a movie come out and it's good. And they give it a few weeks to a month later, then people come around and say, you know what? This movie's actually not that bad. This movie's quite fun if you turn your brain off. Or this this movie is pretty bad if it's a good movie. It's like, oh, this movie's horrible. Spider-Man No Way Home dropped. People, a lot of people love Spider-Man No Way Home or Spider-Man Far From Home and stuff like that, right? And so, the ill drop, everyone's loving the movie, stuff like that. A few months later, yo, this movie's actually pretty bad once you think about it. It's like, now I get it when it's some things where, you know, you need the digesting. Like when someone drops an album, you can't say it's a classic automatically after you just finished it. Yeah, it takes a while to digest, you know what I mean? Like you can't call something a masterpiece after the first 48 hours of something dropping. That's not how it works, okay? That's usually when you, like, you're part of the hype beast talking about, oh my God, um, when Upia, Upia, Utopia by Travis Scott dropped, everyone's like, oh my God, it's a masterpiece. And after a few months, it's like, it's okay. It's still not, it's not his best, but it's, it's, it's a pretty solid album. People are so hyperbolic now with certain things as soon as it comes out that they have to get out a, a reaction to it, where, and I'm a, I, I, I do it also, but like, in particular to Madam Web, everybody knows this movie is garbage, okay? There is no save in this movie, but there are a section of people that hate MCU, the MCU, and uh, Spider-Man in the MCU. And these were the same people who were, compl I mean, complaining at Sony, like, why isn't Spider-Man in the MCU? We want to see Spider-Man with the Avengers, blah, 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 blah. As soon as they get what they wanted, they're like, why is Spider-Man in the MCU? I don't want Spider-Man with the Avengers, you know what I mean? And it's like... You're, there's no winning with these people. They're they're a rabid fan base. <laughs> some of them, not to say all of them, because most I'm a Spider-Man fan, but some of them are pretty cool. But a good section of them are are unbearable to say the least. Um, and so they're doing this thing now where it's like, Madam Web was terrible, but it was shot better than anything in the Mar uh in in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for the past couple years, which is a damn lie. Okay, I'm not finna have that. Like, listen. Marvel's been on a downtrend since Endgame, but let's not act like there hasn't been some fire gems that happen, like uh, Wakanda Forever and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, you know what I mean? Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, even though that was pretty mid, but you're not gonna sit here and act like, oh, this is the best shot comic book movie that we've seen in the past few years. We're not doing that, bro. Cut it out. Knock it off, okay? It's not happening, all right? And you know Sony exists is looking at this like, maybe, maybe they do want us to continue this franchise you know what I mean? because you know that's how sony is sony is delusional they'll take a little bit of faith and jump up. it's kind of like a guy that is sipping or crushing on this girl right and the girl is giving him no play at all you know what i mean but she'll give him look like a little compliment here and, there, and she's like and he's like oh my god she want me <laughs> like like no bro she don't want you, man. She don't want you. Her being nice doesn't mean that she wants to get in your pants, bro. It's like that. Sony's like the delusional dude, bro. It's like, bro, we can say this scene looks nice, but it doesn't mean we want a franchise of, of random Spider-Man villains. You know what I mean? That's not what we want, bro. Get this up out of here. And it is also, because you know, Sony's been trying to force their way into the MCU for whatever reason, because they can't, they can't do a successful universe to save their lives. But now it's the... The thing where it's like, oh my god, like, we can't succeed, so we're gonna try. You know what I mean? It's like, bro, nah, Sony, stay over there. Please, you fail over and over again. Just stay over there, please. And this revisionist history doesn't help anyone. Like, I love it when it was a meme, like, Morbius or whatever, and Sony thought, oh my god, y'all must really love Morbius. Let me, let's re-release it for the bomb again. Like, that's amazing. But there's people that genuinely believe that Madam Web is a good movie. Because they hate the MCU that much. It's weird, bro. Like, this is one YouTuber. I'm not gonna say who it is. But they make a whole... They make their whole career off of ragging on the MCU Spider-Man, right? And so they'll even, they'll even sit there and, and try to compliment Madam Web by shitting on the MCU. 
And it's like, bro, I get that you might not like this edition of Spider-Man, but please stop. Like, you're reaching for straws, bro. Like, it's, you're, your arms must be hurting the way you're reaching for this, bro. Like, relax, okay? There is nothing Madam Web does. And I've seen this piece of shit movie, okay? There's nothing Madam Web does that's better than any of the Spider-Man films, okay? No matter what the internet says, the internet is not a real place. Far From Home... Homecoming and No Way Home is a great Spider-Man trilogy, okay? Maybe there's some flaws as the way people didn't like the character, but to sit there and say these movies are, are bad or they're the worst movies in the MCU when the dark world exists? Like, come on now. Like, what are we doing here? Y'all let hatred take y'all to some crazy places, bro. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like an ex when you break up with someone. Like, oh, when you're in love with them, they, they could do no wrong. They can, they can shit roses and, and piss lemonade, you know what I mean? And once y'all break up, oh, they wasn't really that good anyway. It's kind of like those bitter exes, like, oh, he was really ugly. No, no, you wouldn't say that when you was on your knees for him, like, you know what I mean, every other night. Like, what are we doing here? Like, you know what I mean? It's like, bro, relax, recalibrate your senses. Hating on the MCU is like, it's, it's, it's weird. <laughs> like, because when they do wrong, we need to actually admit they do wrong. It's like this thing where, like, you can't, Nothing will change if you are overly positive and overly negative. I've talked about YouTubers in the past that that meat ride Spider-Man games or meat ride MCU to the uh, the end of time, right? And there's also people that hate MCU and hate everything about it to the end of time also. But the thing is, if you go one direction fully, there is a potential when people see the criticisms that are actually there, they'll just disguise it as, oh, they're just haters. They just, they hate us anyway. And you could have valid points. That's what the problem is. Like, valid points get swept under the rug over uh, nonstop criticism. And it's sad because when you actually have people that want to improve and do better, like, let's say the director or writer of Madame Well really wants to sit down and get a critique of what's wrong with their movie, right? They go online, they're going to see, well, obviously everything's wrong with the movie, but like the main points that people wanted them to know, probably they won't notice because it's just all dragging all of it down. You know what I mean? If Kevin Flaggy is looking on the internet to say, hey, I want to fix the MCU. How do I do this? And the main criticism they see is Matter Web is shot better. They're not going to take you seriously. It's, <laughs> it's not going to take you seriously. If Kevin Flaggy sits in a room with some of y'all, that'd be, that'd be going crazy online about like, oh, that the MCU is so bad. Like... XYZ is better. Um, the first Suicide Squad movie is better than this and the third. And he's like, bro, I want to I wanna improve what I'm doing. But what you're telling me, I, that doesn't make any sense. So why would I take you seriously? You know what I mean? And this, the revisionist history is crazy. Like when Craven the Hunter comes out, let's say that movie is hot garbage. You know what I mean? Trash. They're going to post it. They did the same thing with, with Eternals, bro. And it's not just with Sony, but it's like, it's with comic book movies in general. Eternals came out. I'm sorry. I watched Eternals. It was boring. It was they tried to juggle too many plot points, okay? And it fell apart. The issue wasn't because, oh my god, y'all just wasn't ready for this new thing in the MCU. No, the movie wasn't good. I'm sorry. I there's nothing I can do about that, okay? Now, when they come out and say that they're not doing Eternals 2, they're like, oh my god, y'all just didn't miss the point. No. Now they they show this what I was saying earlier is they re show the movie, right? When people talk about the movie on Twitter, they show one scene. And y'all know what the scene is. I think her name is Makiri, or she's a speedster. They show the scene of her fighting Icarus on the beach. That is the only scene you will ever see online from uh, Eternals, okay? Maybe it's the one with the Superman reference. But, like, other than that, it's just those two scenes, bro. And it's also the villain in that movie is ass. But besides the point. It's, they only do that because it's like, oh my god, just start to get people, oh my god, this movie is so good. Like, no, the movie was not good. Same thing with uh, the Marvels. The movie was enjoyable, but it still wasn't a great movie. And people were saying that, but you was like, no, y'all just hate it fun. Y'all just hate something different. It just didn't work, okay? And it was just, it was just baffling to me, the amount of revisionist history going on online. But those are my thoughts. Let me know down below what y'all think. Do y'all think... Um, People are just gassing up everything, you know what I mean? Just trying to shit on Marvel. Or, like, is there a problem with re revisionist history and, you know, online forums and stuff like that? I'll be in the comments. And I'm out. Peace.